Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at finding the equation of a straight line graph. Now, the equation of a straight line graph is always in the format of y equals mx plus c, where m is our gradient, or how sloped this line is, and c is what we call the y-intercept. And that just means where our line crosses the y-axis. Now remember, this is our y-axis, so we are finding where the line crosses that. So let's start looking. So, if I've got y equals mx plus c, I find it easiest to start off with finding out what the y-intercept is. So where does this line cross the y-axis? So I've got my y-axis here. Well, the line crosses it just there. And the value of y, where the line crosses it, is minus 2. So I don't have my gradient yet, so I'm still going to leave that as that, m. So I've got y equals mx minus 2. So my y-intercept is minus 2. OK, so now let's have a look at how we're going to find the gradient. Now we have an equation for finding the gradient and that is that the gradient is equal to the difference in y divided by the difference in x. And what do I mean by this? Well when I'm finding my gradient it's easiest to draw a triangle somewhere on this graph. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to pick two points to be two corners of my triangle. So I'm going to pick that point and that point to be two corners of my triangle. And now I can just draw a triangle where the line of best fit is the hypotenuse of my triangle. So it's the diagonal. There we go. So I've drawn on my triangle. Now each side of this triangle has a certain length and those are my differences in y and x. So the length of this side goes from 2, so at the value of two, y equals 2, down to minus 6. So my difference in y is 2 take away minus 6. So I'm finding the difference between 2 and minus 6. So I'm taking away minus 6 from 2. And remember when we've got these two negatives together that becomes a plus. So really this is saying 2 plus 6 which is 8. Now I can do that either in my head or on my calculator. So if I wanted to do it on my calculator, I could. OK, so that's the difference in y. That's this side of the triangle. Now my difference in x is along here, so it's parallel to the x-axis. Now this goes from here, which is an x value of 2. So my difference in x goes from value of 2 2 over here, which has an x value of minus 2. So 2 minus minus 2, and that is 4. Okay, so my I now have my difference in y and my difference in x. So now I just need to calculate what the difference in y divided by difference in x is. So difference in y divided by difference in x is 8 divided by 4 which is 2 and that is my gradient that is my m so now I can rewrite this equation with the m in place as well so it's 2 is the m so 2x minus 2 and that is the equation of this straight line graph.